Papa, Miss Ali and Nard White Real Godfather, so please subscribe As I watch a video, I have to do it every time Share with my friends, comment, like Rapper, Crapper, the struggle is alive Call the intellect so the damn thing connect, right? Look how good I am here. Oh, people, I really can't believe it. People, 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 you know what? Me say about two days ago, Lady Saga go live. Alex said, video, yeah. Me not watch it yet. But Lady Saga captioned the video, yeah. Say, Lady Saga come back in a dance hall. Me coco, I look here. Me kanga about. People, me can't believe it. Yo, I'm so far, them John Marion all. I saw father all out Mary and dying in room. Me crocodile deal, but people, he said, you don't watch the video yet. Me don't say too much, you know. But yo, me watch you now and hear Mary and all I say, John was star. People, this I want you serious. So, people, one of the can say, Mary and just use it as a caption or she really ever take back in a dance hall. How? Me no understand. Me no foot that stand, me no body that stand, me no that stand. But anyhow, look at your chassis. Sorry about not sending your personal greetings. I was so busy, yes, and um, I just want to take this time out to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. I um, this morning I thought about doing that, but I said, you know what? Let me wait until I get some pictures of. The food. Now, the food, you see what was happening in Jamaica, right? And it's all because of you. Because of you and, and your love offering to Holy Ghost Pentecostal Church of Jesus Christ, I was able to send the money down and get the team together. So I want to thank you all for your love offering. It doesn't matter how much it was. God continue to bless you. I pray God will continue to bless you tremendously. And they were so happy. I mean... It was like so quick it was done you know everybody was just happy to receive their meal and I just want to thank you I so appreciate you I want to thank Simone Tarp my niece my sister Precious Hall yes and um, her husband Mr. Pitter both of them yes Mr. and Mrs. Pitter I'm sorry <laughs> yes I also want to thank um, Sandy her name, or was it Stacy Ann? That's a friend of Simone who went in. And um, Milton Freighter, um, Reggae Boy, yes. And um, Miss Pauline, thank you for helping. It was from Christmas Eve, they've been like working, working, my sister and her daughter. And, you know, even the kids, Danai and Sheldon, yes. Um, Sheldon was in Ochoa, she told my sister, Auntie, I love you, you know. I'm going to miss you, but we have to go up. <laughs> you know, so um, Danai, Shantavia, Shania, yes, yeah, Sheldon, God bless you all. And I pray that next year, 2021, will bring you joy, comfort, peace, hope. Why? Because I know my God. I've seen so many things that he has been doing for me. Sometimes, even today, he blew my mind. Yeah, and I know he's able to take us to that place of comfort. Yeah, that place where we don't have to worry anymore. That is going to be when we, we, we go, you know, to spend eternity with him. But right here on earth, he's able to. So I bless you again. I bless your, your family. I thank you again for making it possible for us to feed the, the less fortunate people this year. And I, I, I'm so excited. You know, I send pictures. I put pictures up today. And for the new year, just remember. Masoon alright, masoon alright. Masoon alright, masoon alright. No money in our own, but masoon alright. We don't want to blessing it, I come here, masoon alright. We'll be alright once we trust God. We continue to pray, no matter how it looks. It may look as if it's impossible. This bridge is so impossible to cross over. You know, there's so much traffic on this road. I'm so scared. You know, I am not going to be able. There is angels assigned to you i believe that angels are assigned to me i know that whenever i'm going into anything that is not what god want me to go into he don't want me to get into that there is something to stop me now people of god i know a lot of you you know see me doing some things from me man me no go up your man 
you know, and because a lot of us were so righteous, we're so ipity, you know, like we are, you know, some Christians, they're just too sophisticated for me. Not that you shouldn't be like, you know, but I told someone just days ago when I record that song and the person was saying, you know, don't drop it. I'm like, why are we quoting like, God didn't give us the spirit of fear. <laughs> he gives us the spirit of love, power, and the power. Now, if you know you have power, why would you be scared backing up each time the devil said, boo, you, you back in a corner. So if, if God give us this power, right, why are we not stepping on serpents and scorpions, knowing that we have authority to speak to, you know, demons and devils, witches and warlocks, yeah, why are we backing up in a corner? I am not one to back up in a corner. And sometimes you, I tell somebody yesterday, I say, my calling is not your calling. The anointing that is on me, it, it may not be the same anointing you have. So missions that God will send me on, you won't be able to come on those missions because you were not called to come on these missions. You were not anointed to go on this mission. So you may not understand. Now, sometimes, yeah, you see the devil, Whatever he meant for bad concerning me at the end of this year, mm -mm. God is going to use it for his glory. And you're going to see everything manifest in January. I am backing up. I am working for the Lord. And I'm about to shock you, but I'm going, listen, listen to this, listen to this headline. Minister Hall returning to dance hall. How does that sound? <laughs> I know a lot of you worried now. A lot of you ready to judge and all that. I'm not returning to that all. But what the devil taught he was going to do to hurt me. I'm going to use that right there. Because God placed something in my spirit. God is about to create a book. Oh God Almighty. I'm a part of that right there. I, you may think, oh, you hear. I've never been there. So why not let the devil know. You ain't playing with me. You ain't running no games with me. You ain't going to put this one on me and have me laying down like I'm dead. I ain't dead. And the spirit in me is alive. So I'm going out to win some souls for Christ. Ah, you know, today I was in the Word, yes? And I was in 1 Corinthians 9, yes? Verse 19 to 23. Did you just get in your Bible and look what Paul said, yeah? Look what Paul said. Because sometimes... You don't, you, you don't, you can be, all right, so, there goes some people in this dance hall music, some young girls, and, you know, they, they never been introduced to God, or, you know, the right way, they have never been, they have never experienced the Holy Ghost, yes, they, they don't know about the anointing, they don't know about salvation, which is free, but the devil has been giving them so much. The devil has been pouring in into them. Pouring all kind of things. Showing them these things of the world. That is it. This is it. This is joy. This is peace. This is, And then hell, when all hell come. Tumbling down on these young sisters. They don't know how to handle it. Now minister Hall. I am going to use. Some dance or gospel. To hey. get into some nooks and crannies. Hey. Yeah, devil, you bring it. Bring it, bring it. You talk, you're going to have me backed up in a corner. Mm -mm. This means war. So, hey. God has been locked away, yes, in a corner. Teach me the word all by himself. Didn't go to a school. He had me locked away and then he moved me from, and then he, and he said it's time to preach. Now, I'm preaching. Yeah, I'm preaching, yeah. The devil don't like how I'm preaching. So what the devil did? He cook up something. Cook up, yeah. The witch and the warlock start stirring up some poisonous gas to send over my way. Stirring up, stirring up. Wrong address. You come to the wrong address with that poisonous, de devilish, demonic gas. <laughs> you can't get in. You never get in here. So people of God. I don't want to start preaching. I came here to just wish you a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and tell you that next year, I'm soon all right, I'm soon all right. You know what I'm saying? Now, I am just 
looking at what God is doing. Today I got confirmation. A woman of God called me from London. She leave a WhatsApp message she did. She said, woman of God, the Lord has laid this on my heart for you. What she said, I already knew. Because God already placed that in my spirit. You were not called to be locked in, you know, right here. In the middle of these four walls. I can't be locked in, in, in the middle of this. I can't be here. I, when Jesus walked the earth, what did he do? What did he do? He went among the synagogues. Mm -hmm. Jesus told the scribes and the Pharisees this. He said, if you are, if you're well, if you're healthy, you got no sickness, you're whole, yeah? W-H-O-L-E. You don't need a physician, but meaning you in the church or you all righteous Christian, you're already saved. You, you, you know you're saved, right? Or you think you're saved. And instead of you spreading the gospel to People in, you know, some gunman down the road, some crackheads, some prostitutes, uh, some uneducated people. Yeah, you don't want to do that because you too stush, you too righteous. So you, and oh, and you know, the Lord has said, oh, I'm not against proper English. But you have some people who you have to go to because guess what? You have to go to them hard because demons, did you know about that? I've seen it. I did casting out. And I realized that demons talk back. These demons talk back. If you're not clean and you're not living a righteous life, then demons can talk to you and you back up. But I ain't backing up because I know I'm living a righteous life. I'm living clean for God. Yes, I might have done some things. Yes. Oh, Lord Jesus, I already got forgiven for that. Yes, yes, I already repented. But I know I'm walking on the straight path of righteousness. I'm walking. My, my thing is, people think, oh, you have on some braids. Oh, Minister Hall, you shouldn't wear braids. Minister Hall, you shouldn't wear this. And Minister Hall, I'll wear whatever I like. Whatever I feel like wearing. If God didn't say take it off, I ain't take it off. taking it off to please you. So a lot of you won't understand my calling the greatest thing is this god gave me a ministry and i don't answer to anyone but god <laughs> you know why god know the spirit that he placed in me my god no god is a god of order mm -hmm. yes he's not the author of confusion but he has me in order already. So ain't no devil gonna put me in order. No devil gonna order me around and order me to shut my mouth and zip it. I ain't zipping this. You said, boo. Once the devil said boo, I said boo, ooh. Boo this scripture. Because I'm going to the word of God. Yeah, I was recording some nights ago, people of God, and, and people all over. And the, the, the lyric that came out of my mouth, it exceeds my expectation because I didn't know I had that in me. I know I can preach now and I know the word, yeah, yeah. But what was coming out, it was all on God. God was pushing that demon back to the pit of hell. The demon came back with a part two. Did you see that? So I just dropped two. Boom, boom. So look out. <laughs> on the 1st of January, we have idea. to Holy Ghost bomb for drop. We are down our head. Boom! We're going to shake up hell, people. We're going to shake up hell. Don't come on this and try thief any money. Don't come on this and this is not a money day. So don't try coming out here and posting things. Oh, this person gave me $5,000. No. We're talking about witches and warlocks. We're talking about the demonic forces, the dark forces. And I ain't going to allow any, anything that is not of God. To talk down to me or lie about me or try to smear my my name what whether the whole or the new amen so minister hall returning to dance hall i know that many of my christian brothers and sisters a lot of you have been lukewarm oh lord i'm not the one who said it but i know this pandemic gets a lot of you it's like you're frozen it's time to, it's time to go into, listen, who has the key to hell? If I have to pay the 
devil a visit down there, then that's where I'm going for the glory of God. Now, what did I just say? If I have to pay the devil a visit down there, yeah, for the glory of God, then I'm going. If God hmm. said go down there, you she go. go. You remember what Paul said? He went up in the third heaven, yeah? He said that there was a thorn that was given to him in his flesh. The devil, you know, the devil buffeted him. The devil did something to him. He didn't even explain it, you know? And he said, I've seen things and heard things that it, I, I can't even speak about, yeah? Well, sometimes uh, we need to go into some places. To be revitalized. Because some of you, you got this anointing and you're just cool. That's why the devil can box you and box you and box. Mm. Mm. When I turn the other side, darling, it's the word of God that is coming your way. Jesus himself spoke to the devil. When he was fasting for 40 days, 40 nights. When the devil came, Jesus didn't run, did he run? He did not back up. The devil had was to back up. You Christians need not to talk to me and tell me, don't do that minister old. Don't just go talk to yourself. You're not God. I listen to God. I know what God is saying to me. And if you are, if you keep being fearful, the devil will walk over you. I am more powerful than I was before. I am a mighty, mighty warrior. I am a powerful vessel, a powerful woman of God. And the devil knows that is why he's doing all these things. But he know me. <laughs> so, listen out on the 1st of January, two Holy Ghost bomb. Boom! Yeah, yeah. Straight down our hell. Hell gonna boil over now. And then after that, I'm coming in. Can I get a hallelujah? Can I get a... Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. So we go and do some dance all and stay right here, so And get some souls for God. Sometimes you have to adapt to what they are using to the devil to win souls for the kingdom of darkness. You ain't going to be like them. You ain't going to say nothing lewd, nothing nasty. You use the word of God, yeah? And you go in and take them out. Hmm. Yeah? Hmm. The devil thought he was going to take me out of church. No, darling, I'm taking the church to your people. <laughs> if the devil people, they're in church too. But I'm already in the church. So, But I'm taking the word of God where I was before. Amen? Amen. That is, oh, Jesus, the devil taught. <laughs> you see, what you meant for bad, God is now using it. For his good, his, yeah, for his own glory. Amen, somebody? Amen. So, I'm telling you right now, we have the fire of God, and that is our weapon. That is our weapon. Don't you back up. I told people, when Saul was hunting David and David ran, David didn't run because he was afraid. David did not run because he was fearful of Saul. Mm -mm. David was slewing thousands in the, when the enemy came at them. Oh, Jesus. He was just doing a little one thousand when David was... David, listen. David was not scared of Saul. David ran because David said, there is an anointing that is on him and I won't touch, I won't touch God anointing. I won't touch that anointed one. Amen, somebody? And that is why David ran. When David ran from his son Absalom, he didn't want to kill his firstborn. He didn't want to kill his seed. That is why, do you think David with all that anointing would be running? Would, listen, everything else that rose up against David. <laughs> David went to God and said, Should I go up? Or should I go down and meet those Philistines? <laughs> Once God said, go up, I'm with you. Then David went up and slew everything. Thank you, Jabu. Mighty warriors. We have a God who is mighty, mighty. He's the top of, he's the mightiest, mightiest, mightiest of all. But we also have that authority. He said there is death and life in the power of our tongue. Why, why aren't we using it? When the Bible said, 
you must resist the devil and he will flee from you. How do you resist the devil? Do you run from the devil? When the devil speak lies against you, do you shut your mouth and back up? What did Jesus do? What did Jesus do when the devil come, come to him? Did he, did he flee? How did, how, did, how did it happen? The word of God. Mm -mm, they shouldn't come and test me now. Oh, dance all, look out for me. Mm -hmm. Dance all, look out for me. Look out for me. Welcome the evangelist of dance all. <laughs> hey! Now, nerd. listen this now. You nerd. Minister Hall returning to dance all. But guess what? She don't want any part of being any queen of dance all. It has nothing to do. Ah! Uh, when you listen to the lyrics, the the one that's where the crown, me no want to be no queen. Yeah, man, the Leave the me alone, I'll come one. off of my screen. I'll <laughs> <laughs> up my life like you want to be seen. Take <laughs> a blocker, you're too unclean. <laughs> you know me as the blocker, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> I ain't blocking nobody this time around. You know what? God was doing a new thing with me and I didn't even realize. Girl, I'm souping you up. I'm putting on some nice rims on you. Some Holy Ghost hygienics. Yeah? Because I know the enemy gonna come, but you're gonna be so souped up. You're gonna have on the old armor, girl. So, mm -hmm. we need to go to the highways and the byways. We, we, we weren't going into the highways and the byways. Why did Jesus not go in the church? You, you, Jesus went in the church. Listen when he went in. I said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because I was anointed. To... All right, listen this now. He went and he beat some people out of the church, selling stuff in the church. But most of the time, what Jesus did, he walked among the Gentiles. The sinners, I did not come to call the righteous. Righteous, I already, not church I come to call sinners unto repentance. Yep. So why are we not going out there again? Oh. Okay. So what I'm going to preach on, I already preached most of it, <laughs> Sunday is 1 Corinthians 9, verse 19 to 23. Look at it. Sometimes you have to adopt. You don't adopt the things of the world. You don't adopt their principles. Yes, but, oh, you, you remember when Paul said, you know, you eat what you eat, this, that, that. They put the meat in front of you. And the way they, they, they deal with it, the law at the time, the law of Moses, Say, you as a Christian, you can't eat that. But you know something? <laughs> Some of us, we need to remember, bless it and eat it. The Lord said, whatever they set before you, bless it and eat it. Just sit down and you, you just start preaching the word of God. That's how you get, yeah? Preaching the word of God. Hmm? You go in there, go into the marketplace. They tell you, oh, you shouldn't be on open social media. media. You know, if, if some of us did listen, would anybody be paying us any mind now? I know I wasn't doing live and so when I was Lady Saul, but you know. Anyway, people of God, I love you with the love of Jesus Christ. If you have your Holy Ghost fire, you know you have the mighty weapon, right? Don't back up from anybody. Don't back up from any anything that is not of God. Don't back up. Use it for the glory of God. Yes? So I'm going in to win. I think that's going to be my sermon on Sunday. I'm going in to Ooh. win. I'm not going in to wear, you know, them little piece of be right? And then, you know, I say, oh, no, I'm not going in to do stripper videos. I'm not going in to, yeah, but if I have to go on a stage, if I have to go to Sting, to stand up on, oh, Vegas, they get where you want. You always tell me to come back in a dance hall, don't it? I'm not actually coming back into dance hall. I'm going to use dance some hall. dance hall gospel. Mm -hmm. A whole lot of them too. And I'm still going to Nashville to do the other genre, yeah, but... I was slapped some dance hall gospel in the name of Jesus. Hey! My God! You know my how God. the devil walk into and fro in this earth? Trying to win souls. Yeah? Pull them to hell. 
Well, I'm going to pull them back. I bless you. I love you. I thank you for your love offering. I thank you for being a part of this ministry. Whether you're with us or you're against us, we're going to still preach to you. <laughs> Amen, somebody. So, God bless you. And just know, we soon all right. We soon all right. Somebody said, she don't have no money. She broke. She renting out our house. Yes, I rent a Christian lady. Two rooms and her daughter. Yeah? Now, when did renting a house become a crime? That's business. You can't do anything to please people. Didn't house, when you build all a 10 bedroom house and you stuck with it, like it's just there. You stay there and don't rent it and see who going to pay your bills. Yeah? See who? I love you too, Sister Vicky. Sister Jackie, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Helena, yes, Sister Nikki, yes, um, Sister Sasha Miller, yes, Sister Shirley, lovely, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Sister Debbie, love you, Sister Claudia, Linda, yes, Sister Yanni, God bless you, Latoya, God bless and keep you, Rashida, good evening, God bless you, Merry Christmas, Petal V. Scott, Merry Christmas, whether you on my side, not on my side. Jesus is on my side and I'm on Jesus' side. We're not looking friends. We're looking soul for Christ. Amen, somebody. So we're going for it. I said, make way for Minister Hall. No longer the queen of dance hall. But I'm coming into the dance hall to bring souls to the church hall. Where is Papa Stan? Where is Mr. Stitchy? Oh, oh Lord, pastors, where are you? We need to get back on, on fire. Yeah, mm. since you want me to get on fire, well, there go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tell you, I'm ready. I woke up a couple mornings ago and I'm like, oh, I feel like this. I feel so. God, what are you doing? Mm. Oh, God. It's about to go down. Boom! <laughs> Holy Ghost. Mm. Boom. Dropping. I love you too. Sister Angeline, good good evening. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Don't you dare back up. Go in. Go to the highways and the byways. Just like Jesus. You see, that when, when Jesus was walking with the fishermen and he's always, you know, on the beach. You know why? People go on the beach to hustle. Yeah. Did you know about mermaid spirit and them something? They snake and bear and reptile and all kind of demons. Reptilian. You know? God went out there for the souls that were out there. Yeah? Some will come to the church, but some won't come. When, I, when the Lord sent me down to Carnation Market, people got their Holy Ghost right there. Right there at the back of the market. God was sending me there for years and I didn't go. And I went back. I don't know if I went back to Jamaica. He sent me back. I think he sent me back. And then he sent me back right there. So, you might not understand what I'm saying, but we used to, all right, somebody said, she, 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 she a benefit, meaning she's benefiting off this Obia man thing. Lord Jesus, look from when the Obia man benefiting off of me. <laughs> look from when the devil has been benefiting off us. And look how long the devil had me out there. We just put a blindfold over my eyes. Somebody, somebody, all right, somebody. Um, oh, Ladalia, see, you're up. Bless the name of the Lord, Sister Ladalia. You're such a blessing to this ministry. Pastor Hall, I just say hello and bless him up in Sam. Just don't cook him, cook work, where I'm go beach and all kind of things. Yes, and yes, minister. There's another minister, Delroy Escoffrey. He's a minister of the word because he's studying very hard. Yes, so a lot of you won't understand. But the devil has been using us long enough. Why not step in his territory, in territory? He might have territory, but he not have it enough. It's ours. We need to take it back. We need to take it back. Why are we not taking it back? Why? We quote in scriptures how we're powerful and, and we're not doing anything. Well, devil, why? Mm. You just come and knock on the wrong door. Mm. Welcome me. <laughs> I have some missile, Holy Ghost missile. When I drop them, the word of God, my God, will penetrate. Because you know it's sharper than any two-edged sword. Hmm. Yes. So, I bless you. 
Look out. First of January. Missoon, all right, Missoon. It's coming. Yeah? Look out. First of January. From me, man, me no go. Oh, yes. That's it. And we coming through. You know, my friend, Rob Bond, he asked me to do a song with Lady Flames. You know that lady that song? God answers prayer. I just want you to listen for a song called God you good, God you good, God you good. Ooh, my God. I know it's going to run away over there in Africa and here and all over. It's so powerful. That's a collab that I've done with her. She is such an anointing woman of God. And look out for that one coming. That one was done before these two. And it's another, yeah, you have to move. So if we, you, you see, oh, oh, the devil has certain music that grab people. We're going in there to use that same music and put the word of God on those beats so it can go pierce the ears and the heart. So people can, if, if they never know about God, we are the one that's going to bring it in there. So you can stop calling me now and say, oh, you need to quit dance, I'll miss you. I'm back! But not in there. But if I have to go in there, because I would love to go in there to lay hands. Yes? I'd love to minister in there when everything is, you know, when God settles everything. I would love to go in to minister on Sting. Yes? I want to be on the night of dance hall on Stonefest. Yes? I want to go on all the major concerts too. Stand up and declare that Jesus is Lord. Because I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Mm -mm. I am not. I know. I know that is the power of God unto salvation to them that believe. Yes? So we got to get believers who are non believers to, yet yeah, we want non believers to be believers of Christ. And we're able to do it. So I'm looking for all the, the, the gospel artists who does that type of music. It's time. It's time to get in there as soldiers. God army need to go trample, trample on the devil. Amen. Yes, the Lord did send them two by two. Yeah. Amen. Yes, and still have the room in my house. Yeah? So, see you on Sunday. I haven't wrote out, um, I haven't written the um, sermon yet, but I know where it's coming from. And just know, it's time for us to take over, take authority. Yeah? Stand and proclaim and declare that we have authority. To step upon them serpents. Hmm. Amen? Amen. So we're going to set some demons ablaze. Hey. Amen? Amen. And win some souls that are lost. A lot of things I don't talk about. But I see some things in there. Yeah? So God bless you, Sister Camilla. And again, thank you for the love offering. People have enjoyed them food. My sister. I'm, my niece, them so tired right now, they're there, but it is a blessing. So thank you all, Simone Tarp. I thank you, Nurse Tarp. I thank you, Precious Peter and Billy. Yes, um, I thank you too. Um, thank the, the other lady, um, Stacy Ann, I think her name is, and um, Mr. Milton Fritter, along with Reggae Boy and the others who came through today. God bless you. Caught and clear. Can't yeah, call all of you, your name now, but I'm going for dinner. Love you. Why, people? When I lie, you them, them have a sense when the line of sick, nobody wake her, wake him, boy, then wake up. Ladies, sorry, then wake up. Maria Nal, she said she had come back to the dance hall, gone take out the stool. Them sister, she no one on crown, but she gave a crown already, so she really couldn't come back for the crown. So that would be a different, different thing totally. But my beautiful people, more often know what you guys think about this speech. You understand and we ask you can be a laugh when she laugh. Why pray?
Auntie Marian and a Ginal man. She had Ginal. She come in and, and cite every scriptures. Tell us about if you just want to go back into the dance hall. Just say you're going back into the dance hall. We understand. We miss you in there. You're bad in the dance hall. We like you in there. But she not go back in the dance hall. Go back in the dance hall. She had to go back in there with the gospel. You have to start somewhere. <laughs> you have to start somewhere. <laughs> Listen to me. This is 2020 Corona year. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Church don't keep. All right? No money. Tied like... up with you. Oh, tied up with you. Church with the ramp with them tied, you know? No, no money. No, no man. We, 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 money. Whether you got church or not, you have to wrap up with tied up with you. That's it. Yo, church with the ramp with them tied. Money don't run as much as it used to. No, nah, man. Church. Then appear with them tied, man. It's 50 song and get your little money. All right? Anyway, and she's if the song all right. Bad, no, she's... No, she... Because she won't have the song them to Russia go all right. Of course she will be all right. We expect. I'm just thinking that I would have more respect for her in that sense if she just came and said, listen, the dance hall is actually where I belong. And I don't feel like being in the dance hall stop you from being a Christian. These, these, these things are foolishness because you go, some people go to church and they do way worse than, than what's happening in the dance hall. Some of the pastors, them do way worse than what is happening in the dance hall. Furthermore, a lot of people in church, they're not going to the church of God. They're going to the church of the holy money. So a lot of them, because remember, people go in a church because they realize that there is money into church, you know? That's true. Why are you think some, so many church build up all over the place, so many pastors, they're not trying to save people. If it was to save people, all that we would have saved. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody would have saved because there is a church in every corner. Okay? Everyone would have saved. They're not going in there to save people. They're going because there is money in the church business. Uh, well, and they're going to worship the holy the job, money. Car rule at time, no, no. <laughs> Money in the, in the church. Bro, I know I said, find somewhere you know, to go. People stay out of church and you know, and people are kind of reluctant. And time is hard anyway. So if people who used to give like fifteen grand every Sunday, <laughs> they probably come with a five grand every Sunday now and then. That have to share us for the church, and you know the pastor get the first cut, then the pastor wife then everything. So we do understand. So if you wanna go into the dance, I'll just say. It. Nobody can wrong you for that because at the end of the day, it's between you and God. And if you said that God has spoken to you and tell you to go into the dance hall, who are we? Even the dogs them say I'm right. Who are we to come and judge you? Who are we for you to come and justify to us? We are nobody. If God told you that you need to go back there, that means this is your destiny. You need to go back in there. If God tell you you need to go back in there and go the wickedest way, you need to go back in there and go and act the wickedest way, but you don't have no reason to come and explain yourself to us and justify it to us. But all of this, how long is the video? I'm 33 minutes. But she repeated us about 50 times. <laughs> no, 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 because you know what people say. No, you know what people say. You say something to them, I have to repeat it 100 times. And even though I repeat it 100 times, they still go, they still say something else about me clarify that. No. So we can't blame her for repeating. No, I can't blame her to repeat, but. The way how she tried to convince convince me, I was like, no auntie, just tell me you want to go back in. And that's cool. It's good to go because that's where we know you're from anywhere and you never kill nobody by being in the No, but you know say I'm but I level is though, she right. Because as we say one time the need to open on the street. If you, if you notice Christian separate themselves from sinners, you know, and that's not the way it should be. Christian but, people shut out there and try to convert people. While them out there are turned on their nose for people. These so, are no Christian. Like Christian. Like I said to you, they're following the holy <laughs> money. Yeah, um, mongrel, they don't know if they make a bag of knives. Who do they have to go to the end of stock? And the next one, they have make knives. They follow the holy money. You know? So, it, it's, it's not that. Because at the end of the day, some people who stay at home can tell you some godly things and it change your heart. That, you can true. talk to your parents and they tell you some godly thing and it change your heart. You can stay here in front of your phone and talk some sense to some people and it change their heart. This is the work of God, same way. Mm -hmm. 
because nobody is doing the work of the devil so it's not because you go to church and knock pants together and make holy panels and tremble and drop on the ground and wake up back and make the pastor push you in the middle of your forehead <laughs> means that you're more christian than nobody else no <laughs> <laughs> oh God, the struggle is real. People, more often know what I think about the one here. Comment down, tell me what I think about. Well, you just ask and answer with French, yes. <laughs> the struggle is real. Comment, my beautiful people. The one no normal, no at all. But one thing, Marina says she's soon alright. She's soon alright. So look out for that for the first of November. Yeah, and January. <laughs> It might eat me. You understand? I said, I don't know why she's sitting there mongrel and then down there fight this all. Yeah, man. The first of January, look out for Marianne. Big song, I'm going to drop. Tell me one thing. You bring up some stone to lick them with it. <laughs> I'm tasty snack, I'm just eat. Oh, oh my god. I told you, I told you I was hungry and you didn't cook no food, man. My black plan to add some food from Tasty Snack. Tasty Snack closed. This is locked down now. What are you talking about? Yo, them people the just eat. Not because of the coronavirus, some of the pieces of them locked down. Really? Come on, look. Come on, see them. All you need to do. I don't, if you don't have the Just Eat app, download it. If you don't download it, just go on Google. Once you go on Google and type in Tasty Snack. <laughs> so, do they have the whole menu like when you go to the restaurant? Yeah, man. And the seafood? Oh. See the seafood. Deep fried brown. Deep fried color. We never get the calamari there yet, you know. Well, see the little well, one. I'm good to me there. Oh, they have the jerk lamb, yes. And that me want me to Hurry up, hold on, I'm hungry. All right, then. See, me have this in a stress, man. Because some people say you love the seafood. Me say, all right, me wait till you come. Then me just add and some people say, much more easy. Add already, man. No, but see this, me did add that you don't even see the calamari. You understand? Although I'm missing my other guy, I sound like a Mari. Just order that food, man. Alright, okay, alright. <laughs>